everybody and welcome back to TMC Natural Beauty aka the Mind Catchers channel. My name is Valerie and today we're talking about some Zoya polishes. I have two different collections to share with you guys. So the first collection I'd like to talk about is the Abundance Collection and this collection I think came out in March somewhere in that vicinity. I think it's like um, early spring, something like that. Uh, but I'm just getting to YouTube with it. And um, I swatched all of the shades and they are absolutely gorgeous. So as I talk, I'm gonna show you just a quick little one coat swatch across my nail and then I'll show you the completed nail and you can see how gorgeous the shades are. So, but this particular collection, you have five cream shades and you have one nice sparkly shade. I'm gonna go to Zoya's website so I can give you the descriptions that they give for their shades. All right guys, the first shade I'd like to share with you is actually my favorite in this collection. This is called Tyler. This is a gorgeous blue. The description uh, Zoya gives is a deep indigo blue cream nail polish and it is a cool tone polish. It's beautiful. I think that this is absolutely gorgeous on every single person that I've seen it swatched on. Go ahead over to Instagram. All you have to do is type in tag uh, Zoya Tyler and you will see so many different people swatching it. So if you're ever interested in looking up some Zoya polishes, that's how you would search them on Instagram. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Could have been a one coater, uh, but I put two coats on my final uh, swatch picture that you'll see. It's beautiful. I, I don't have anything else to say about it. It is so nice and neat. I feel like if you're allowed to wear this shade in a corporate setting, it's very nice and neat. It's a beautiful shade. It, it, it's, it's almost like a, I wanna say it's kinda like a neutral blue. I'm looking at it in the mirror here. I, I feel like it's a neutral blue. Like you could wear this blue with anything. It's absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful shade. The next shade I'm gonna share with you guys is called Lena. And this is listed as a mid-tone wisteria purple cream nail polish. And it is in a cool tone. Now, this was not my favorite. I usually love purples, but this was not my favorite. Also, I would like to note, and I think I recorded a little bit of the swatch, that this one dried almost as a matte finish. Every other polish dried with a little bit of a gloss to it, and then of course you would add on your top coat, but this one dried as a matte. Very strange formula to this one. Wasn't bad, it just dried more matte. I, I'm not, you know, they don't have it listed as a matte, they just say cream, so I don't know, but to me it looked more matte when it dried down. But it is a pretty shade, just not my favorite in this collection. Maybe I don't like this shade of purple, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. I think it's gonna be pretty on some toes. I think that my daughter really loves it, well she loves all purples. But um, it's a gorgeous shade, it really is, just not my favorite purple. But again, this is Lena. This beauteous shade here is called Kit, and this is listed as a calming old rose cream nail polish. And this is in a cool tone. All right, this is beautiful. This is more my speed. When I applied this to my nails, I was like, yeah, I like this. It's very subtle, it's very all the time-ish. I could wear it anywhere, anytime, and I'd probably get nice compliments on it. It's a very, very chill shade. I really like this. I love rosy shades, not too pink, not too neonish, just right there in the middle, just a calm rosy pink. If you get my drip, I really like shades like that. This next bright and vibrant shade is called Ellis. And this is listed as a dark rich cerise cream nail polish. And again, this is a cool tone shade. So I am loving this shade. This is very pretty. It looked gorgeous on my nails as well. I feel like this is a toe color for me. It's beautiful. Every single nail polish I'm showing you guys applied so beautifully to the nails. Zoya did a beautiful job on these formulas. This next shade is called Gwen. It's a very, very soft pink. Zoya lists Gwen as a muted tea rose pink nail polish. And again, this is a cool tone polish. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, you can definitely tell it's not white. You can definitely tell it's not cream. 
you can see the pink in this shade and I love it for that. So if you're trying to go super, super light, but not too white, you want a little bit of pink, just a, you know, tap of pink in there, this one is very lovely. And last but not least, this beautiful blue is called Elsa. And I think this would have been lovely in a Christmas collection or holiday collection, but we got it now and I'm enjoying it and I will be wearing it during that time of the year. Uh, but this is listed as an iridescent, cool toned blue with purple magical shift. It's a magical shift in there with densely packed rainbow glitter nail polish. Uh, it says you can use it on its own as, or as a topper, excuse me. So the coverage they say is uh, two to three coats and they have it as a glitter finish. Um, I would say it applies super sheer on one coat, super, super sheer. I applied this without sponging it on. I know a lot of people uh, sponge on their glitters I didn't sponge it on, I allowed, I allowed it to like completely dry. Then I did a second coat, like very thick coat, allowed it to completely dry, and then did the third coat. So, some people are not willing to go to three coats, so maybe you can do Tyler and do this on top. I haven't tried that. That might work out. Let's get Tyler back out and look at it. I haven't done that, but maybe you could do that cream uh, shade with Tyler and then do this on top and then you could just do one and one and you have your two coats and your top coat and you're done but um it's going to take some building up but it's a beautiful shade it really is it's it's really pretty I love to see this from Zoya I like to see something a little different and you have those rainbow glitters in there and they're glistening in that bottle so pretty so very pretty I would love to see this with like a beautiful blue eyeshadow look. That would be lovely. So that is the Abundance Collection. It looks like I'm leaning more towards the blues in this collection. They're very pretty. Uh, the very light pink and of course that rosy pink is beautiful to me. Uh, we're going to jump right into the next collection. I don't want to talk too much because... Uh, I'll make this video too long and not get to the pink palette. So that is the next collection. Let me hold that up for you. So it's called the pink palette. Everything in here is pink. And I'm also wearing one of the shades on my nails. But I'm going to tell you how I got this nail look in just a second. I did actually what I just talked about with uh, the shade Elsa. But give me one second. We're going to get to it. All right, so this is called the Pink Palette. It recently came out early May, I believe. Yes, early May, and it's beautiful. I really like it. You know, I just said I'm not really into a lot of pinks, but I don't mind layering pinks or mixing pinks or doing like a smash um, a manicure where you're just like taking a few different shades of pink uh, putting it on your stamper and just smashing it on your nail and then applying your top coat. I think that's pretty. Like seeing like a tie-dye effect with all the pinks. I think that's pretty. But just one straight shade of pink. It's a little boring to me. I have to see pink with a little something else. So I like to see all of these pinks together because I'm thinking, you know, options and stuff like that. So let's go on with the shade names. We have Gigi, which is a beautiful beautiful shade it is so bright and bold this one is definitely a summer must-have let's give you the description of Gigi so Gigi is listed as a red azalea cream nail polish and the tone is warm and definitely two coats I could have gotten away with one nice coat if I had really taken my time but two coats and you're good you put on a nice top coat and you're like shining it is it looks like candy it looks like candy on your nails. Very pretty shade, I love this one. All right, the next shade in this collection is called K, and it is listed as a bright paradise pink. I'm not sure what paradise looks like, but this is the pink that's inside of paradise, and it is a warm tone. It's a pretty shade as well. I can see uh, Gigi and K together in some nail art, a cute dot -a cure like um, doing some flowers or something like that with K and Gigi. That would be pretty. So I'm loving this whole palette thing. Like everything is cohesive, everything works together. I'm liking that. 
I really like that. So would I wear K on its own? Me personally, no. But with some nail art or something like that, some stamping, I think K is going to be pretty. All right, we have the lovely Shannon. And Shannon is listed as a warm melon pink cream. And this is in the warm family as well. And it is pretty. It's pretty. Every single pink is pretty. I cannot say anything bad about them. But like I said, I have to have them um, in some nail art or a daughter cure or a smush manicure or something like that. I don't see myself, I'm not a pink lover. I don't see myself wearing uh, a warm tone pink. Let me say that. I think I'm more of a cool tone pink girl. So I don't see myself wearing this one all alone. But it's very, very pretty. I've seen this swatch on lots of other people. It's gorgeous. All right, so don't get me wrong. These are beautiful, but you have to love pink, okay? And this is, again, Shannon. This one is a soft pink. This one is called Maddie. It's very, very cute. This is listed as an ultra wearable. Ultra wearable flamingo pink. Um, hmm. I would have thought that K or Gigi would have looked more like the flamingo pink in the collection, but they're saying Maddie is more of a, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't visited the Metro Zoo lately, so I don't know. Maybe. It may be some flamingos that are about this shade of pink. I can't really tell you, but I feel like those give me more of a flamingo vibe than this one. I don't know, but it's a very pretty pink. But it's a very pretty pink. Maddie is a very cute. I could see this one uh, being worn for a, a gender reveal party or something like this. It's a very cute, soft, like baby pink. Very cute. All right, this next pink in the collection is called Joni, and it is listed as a soft tulip pink and it is in the cool family. So all the other pinks in this um, collection were warm. I believe I said warm for every other pink and this one is cool. And I was going to say that I like this pink more than all the other ones. So I guess I am a cool pink tone lover. So this one is very, very cute to me. And I could wear, I'm gonna show you what I could wear it with. The very last shade is called Angel. It's very sparkly. I'm gonna show you a little swatch of Angel. You have to definitely build Angel up. The first swipe of Angel like did nothing. It's just like a whisper of something on your nails. But you can build it up on my swatches. I did three complete coats, three thick coats of angel and i put on a top coat get glossed up and everything but i will say that maybe you could layer uh joni i'm sorry angel on top of joni and get a very cute look i'm gonna read you the description of angel before i say that let's make sure we can use it as a topper let's see I have used it as a topper. I'm gonna to tell you guys about it in a second, but let's see what they say. They say that this is an iridescent pink lace overlay with brilliant specks of ultra pink, periwinkle, and golden glitter. Perfect as a special effect topper or on its own. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I did and I hate to bring in another company when I'm talking about one company, but we're gonna do it. It's my channel, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you what I use. Now, I have Angel on my nails right now, but to avoid doing, where is it? Okay, so I have Angel on my nails right now, but to avoid doing the three top, the three coats that I did before and having to wait for all of them to dry and everything, what I did was I went to Lights Lacquer, and this one is called, uh, this is a jelly shade. It's a like a very uh, lilac color. What is this, lilac wine, I think it's called. I'm trying to see, guys. It's called lilac wine, I think. And it is a very, very jelly lilac shade. And it gave me the same effect. So I put that on, just one coat of this, on my nails first. 
and then I did a coat of Angel. And it gave me the exact same effect. The exact same effect. Actually, this one, well, you can still see my nail line. My nail line is very prominent, so you can still see it. But it still gave me that nice shimmer. It's very, very pretty. So I'm loving Angel. And I would love to see Angel Lace. You know, they said you can lace it. It's a lace overlay. So I would love to see Angel laced over, uh, what is the name of this one? Joni. I think that would be pretty since they're cool toned. Or if you go back to the uh, Abundance Collection, you can overlay Angel on top of, uh, what is this one called? Lena, the purple. Remember the purple in the collection that I felt like dried kind of matte? Maybe you can put Angel over that one over Lena you could because all of these shades over here are uh, cool tone maybe you can put Angel over top of Gwen now Gwen and uh, let me see Gwen and Joni are very close but there is a difference they're very close but there is a difference I'm gonna be showing you guys all the swatches right here in the video side by side and everything so you'll see they're very close but there is a difference okay so i think that they did a very pretty job with this uh pink palette like i said my pink lovers out there you will adore the pink palette from zoya you will adore that um, if you have somebody in your life a birthday coming up a summer birthday and they love pink i think that's the way to go it's beautiful they have all they'll have pink for the rest of their lives okay that is a gorgeous palette I mean you can really mix and match these and YouTube is just a fabulous way to see new nail polishes and kind of watch people put different shades together if you're a person that says I'm not gonna spend all the money on the entire collection watch some tutorials watch uh go on instagram follow uh zoya because they're showing a lot of different people do different types of manicures using their shades in their stories on their reels so it's awesome love social media overall i think zoya did an excellent job with the pink palette and with the abundance um out of the two <laughs> i love the abundance collection more i would just move over the shade angel and the shade joni i would move those over and make an eight piece collection with the abundance collection yeah that that sounds about right hire me zoya why not okay i will talk to you guys in the next video be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love it please come over to my uh nail polish instagram account you can see all of these shades before they hit youtube and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cyber kisses bye